there's a bit of storytelling that you have to do. I mean, I think primarily I start with uh, the historical accuracy of of any script and any setting, really. But you know, essentially, you're you're a storyteller. You're not a historian. You know, you're not, it's not a documentary about Venice. Uh, you know, right. so, so creating creating the environment and um, um, that you know feels right. JP, how are you, sir? Good, Joe. Very nice to meet you. How are you? It's great to meet you as well. Look, I love this film, A Hunting in Venice. The scope, the scale, the aesthetic, it's all there for me. It's a perfect blend of a murder mystery and a haunted house movie. Uh, what did you look for for inspiration when creating the haunted house for uh, A Hunting in Venice? It was a kind of a really interesting one because the, the house, unlike normally in a movie, the house is a background to help enhance tell the story of the actors, you know, where they came from and so on. In this case, the house is a character. It's right. It's, it sits alongside the actors. It's a potential suspect. And, um, you know, so did the house do it? You know, so so it had a prominence that was really interesting and really exciting. You know, as a designer, I kind of I kind of um, was waving my flag uh, a, a, a little bit more broadly than I would normally get to. You know, so that that was that was fun. And um, it, it, it also the house is on screen for most of the film. Uh, right. so, you know, I think our early conversations really were about how to how to keep the environment really interesting and um, uh, and keep an audience entertained for an hour and a half and not bore them to death. And, you know, just a cliche haunted house, you know, that it had to create different emotions, you know. And, yeah, you wanted the scary basements with the dripping walls and rats in corners and so on. But you also you also had a million other ideas. So we spent a lot of time working out what they were. You know, and how we could create, you know, from, you know, using a, you know, true architectural reference of what we saw in Venice, you know, of cathedral like spaces with, you know, seraphs and uh, angels looking down from 30 meters in the air from, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, to uh, the cavernous, or, or, or sorry, you know, the, the corridors with them, uh, um, uh, you know, um, like enchanted forest type spaces, you know, that I mean, I like the idea of Alicia feeling like a bird in a gilded cage and right. like in a spooky house. You're actually in a beautiful space. But, you know, because of, you know, what's happening in the story that maybe um, it's a it's a kind of a, 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 a kind of a threatening and confusing space, you know, of uh, following her story and and so on. So. It was it was how to how to how to kind of keep lots of feathers in our in our in our in our bow really with the with 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 with, with, the, with the movie um, um and and um yeah we 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 stuck pretty historically accurately to what was in Venice we we came up with the idea of maybe our palazzo having been built on the ruins of an old monastery or or um or 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 church or something so that we would have an extra an extra dimension with um uh yeah you know secret corridors and cloisters and so on you know and you know so there's there's a bit of storytelling that you have to do i mean i think primarily i start with uh, the historical accuracy of of any script and any setting really but you know essentially you're you're a storyteller you're not a historian you know you're not, it's not a documentary about venice uh, you know right. so so creating creating the environment and um, um, that you know feels right is 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 as important as as being true to venice but you know i mean it was rewritten in venice for a good reason it, the setting is perfect for the script really you know and and these houses are that you know these there's houses we saw when we were touring you know that that um, nobody's lived in for a hundred years because everyone who lives there dies within 20 days or whatever you know so right. these buildings are, they they are the story you know so it's it you don't have to kind of dig deep into your imagination to uh, uh to find a, a realistic haunted house uh, to build, but it, you know, a lovely set to build. You know, it was uh, Ken wanted the whole thing to feel completely um, realistic and immersive. Um, he, we, he, we, all the sets were built as composites. So, um, you know, once the actors were on them, you were in Venice. You know, he, he was, he was saddened that we couldn't film it in Venice, but the practicalities were, you know, it, it's such that it, it just wasn't, wasn't um, uh, ever going to work. So, um, but you know, when we built those big sets, um, and you close the doors or. Poirot locks the gate at the top of the stairs of the Piano Nobile. Those actors are locked in a very big, scary house, and and there's rain beating on the windows. And if they look out the windows, they can see Venice. You know, so so um, it 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 was obviously a lovely opportunity as a designer to get to do that. Can you talk about working and collaborating with Kenneth Branagh to to bring a hunting in Venice to life? We um really kept a very open mind as to how the film could look. So you know, Ken didn't come in with. I like blue, do it in sure. blue, thing. you know, it, it, it's very much 
let suck in the sea and go explore Venice. Imagine what this is. I mean, his notes were very particular and very and 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 very astute. I I I thought as we as we went along, he liked the idea of it not feeling like a a Grand Canal Venice, of it feeling like a kind of backwater Venice, um, of the house being full of surprises. Um, he liked the idea of um, uh, of of. If, if nothing, nothing being conventionally as you expect it in a horror film. So the seance doesn't sit; they're not sitting around a round table holding hands. You know, um, we came up with this idea of a cruciform table. You know, with the uh, um, uh, the psychic in the in the middle, with Miss Reynolds in, in the in the middle, which which allowed her to kind of eyeball each potential culprit around the table and so on. Uh, you know, so so it was it was kind of uh, you know he he had lots of notes as to how. He he felt that the world should feel dramatically, I suppose, but um, but then gave me Im- Im- immense and really great freedom in terms of how it would should feel architecturally. So um, the layout of the rooms, he was really excited and willing to adapt the script to fit into something that I felt was a realistic palazzo rather than a a, a scripted palazzo. And um, you know, so um, and and you know, as I said before, I'm very interested in the in the historical accuracy of these buildings. You know, and it, it felt, you know, I wanted to be able to stand in front of a Venetian historian and sure. and not have them smirk and laugh at at our, at our work. You know that and and you know, I think it is pretty true to the layout of a palazzo. There's a few liberties we've taken. You know the. Uh, you know, frescoes, for example, aren't very popular in Venice because it's so damp that they all they all right. crumble. You know, but you, you know, we love the idea. Like every one of painted walls and you know, and faces looking down on you and so on. You know, so so there's certain liberties you take, but you do them kind of knowingly. Um, and um, and Ken was really up for that and 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 very generous with um, uh, with, with with listening to other ideas that I brought to the table. So um, yeah, it was it was a great collaboration. I enjoyed. Well, that is incredible. Look, JP, you did such a phenomenal job in this film. The production design in this is amazing. Cinematography, the acting, the directing. I love this film. Like I said, it's the perfect blend of a murder mystery and a haunted house movie, and it's perfect for the fall season. Thank Uh, you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, JP. That's great, Um, Joe. Thank you. I'm very pleased to hear that.